now welcome to Honda stand here at Vienna Car Show where we have a chance to see the facelifted version of Civic which has its uh, Austrian premiere here actually so what's new not much really from the first look maybe it even seems that there hasn't been any changes however you do have a new lights look at this so new LED lights are here also the front grille is slightly redesigned as well as the front bumper it does look very aggressive i love the look of the new lights it really looks cool i think that's uh, you know a big improvement compared to the predecessor you still have this very cool american style you know um, lights at the uh, you know side wheel arches now wheels this particular model has the very nice 17 inch wheels in gloss black and from the side not much has changed but if we come around to the back maybe you will notice some small changes to the rear bumper and the new illumination of the lights so really really small changes and uh, well yeah but this is the facelift of the Civic tell me what do you guys think about it actually civic is uh, among my favorite cars in this class i was actually even thinking of maybe buying one but i ended up you know buying a mini in my opinion for me better choice so tell me in the comments what do you think about this crazy design so this car has this fixed spoiler on the lights let's say and it looks really cool in my opinion tell me in the comments what do you think about that now there's a wiper here tinted windows this detail is also pretty unusual it is sort of like like a spoiler this model also has the sunroof and now let me show you the interior of the car so first actually we'll see the trunk which of course remain the same a lot of space here so this car is actually pretty practical look at this so you can do this what do you think about this it's very easy to use however i think it looks a bit cheap i don't know tell me in the comments what do you think about that no exhaust on this particular model but very nice diffuser and in the interior there also have been a few minor changes so overall look remained the same you have this well-known honda steering wheel you have the digital dashboard in front of the driver let me close the door so we have peace here okay so digital cluster in front of me with the rev counter and the speedometer then here on the left you have some oil temperature engine temperature and some warning signals on my right you do have the fuel gauge and this is the infotainment system it's been updated and uh, well let me show you this is the home menu unfortunately this is in german so i'm not really you know good at german i know some words but not much let me show you the navigation system so it's pretty responsive that's always nice to see now if look at this so this is there is a special button here day and night look at this what happens when i press this now it's daytime so as you can see looks like it's the daytime for the navigation but if you press this it's nighttime so that's one cool feature and uh, well yeah the menu pretty simple navigation telephone now this car has the uh, apple carplay and android auto as standard you can pair your phone of course with that and uh, well yeah map audio i love the fact that they keep uh, you know these buttons here it's much easier to use and this is also a new volume knob now a lot of people wanted that because on the previous one you didn't have preface it version you have it like this uh, but you can also you know change the volume here but i think the buyers of honda wanted something like this and honda responded to their needs and uh, this is the result the facelifted civic has this volume knob button what do you think about that automatic gearbox 
start stop button off dumpers eco mode i think parking brake brake hold you have the heated seats in here climate controls are uh, controlled with this so thumbs up for that uh, to honda i love you know uh, to adjust the ac on the buttons not the touch screen power button is here let me show you what else we have here so electronic parking brake as i said cup holders you can move this up and down so you have the two cup holders some extra storage space here actually a lot of storage space here huge amount and uh, well yeah everything here can be adjusted the seats i feel okay in them but they're not as comfortable as i would expect i don't know if this is just my personal opinion but uh, i don't know i think they could be maybe a bit more comfortable glove box pretty big one but the rest of it pretty much standard similar to the predecessor tell me in the comments what do you think about this so this is the steering wheel with various functions you can choose different radio stations as you can see on this volume is here uh, you can also change what you see in front of you with this button here so look at this so i'm changing whatever you want to see in front of you can be adjusted with this button you also have the i think lane assist voice command so a lot of technology in this one and now it's time uh, to check the space at the back so let's adjust the seat for myself and then we'll see how much space there is at the back but before we go at the back you do have some buttons here for the parking sensors traction control this is for example for emergency brake i think and also the lane assist button is over there so yeah let's now go at the back i adjusted the seat let's say for my driving position and we'll see how much uh, space there is for me at the back i love this tinted windows and now let's see what do we have here the view you have on the front and no problems whatsoever for my knees on one meter 87 so this is good also not that bad for my head and let's turn this light on it's not led but it will you know do the job it's pretty decent amount of space consider i'm one meter 87 so that's really fair this is the one liter VTEC Turbo Executive Sport line. It's got 126 horsepower, petrol engine of course, with the CVT automatic Getriebe automatic gearbox. And the price for this one is 33,000 euros and 390. That's a lot. But Honda Civic starts from 22,890 for the first one. But this one is really expensive, I think. Uh, but yeah. Tell me in the comments what do you guys think about it. I think it looks very aggressive. Once again, I was looking, you know, also at the Honda Civic when I was uh, buying a new car because this car is really good on the road. I drove one and uh, really the driving capabilities are insane. So yeah, do tell me in the comments what do you think about it. Subscribe to the channel as there will be plenty of more videos from the this car show. And thank you for watching.